Hello AP Physics 1, it's Mr. Ng, and it is April 16th. It has been 10 days since uh, our last message, and a lot has happened within these last 10 days. Um, it feels like maybe New York and California went through their peak or their plateau already, so maybe we're doing better in terms of the coronavirus, uh, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, but the one, the biggest news is basically the district finally kind of um, came to decision about how to deal with the grades and they put out a grading policy. So I wanted to take some time to go over that and then let's talk about um, what I expect for the next couple of days. So here, so uh, basically the grading policy has um, two big parts. Number one, your grade, the, the grade that you have in your grade book right now is, is the lowest it can be. Uh, for some of you, you already have an A. Actually, for many of you, you already have an A and you're still showing up for sessions, you're still doing your work, and I love you for it. But then for the rest of us, this is a great chance for you to raise your grade. All right, so number one, um, your grade cannot go any lower than what it is on Aries, your regular Aries. And then on top of that, if you complete 80% of your grade with a C average, you will get a grade boost. So for me, that was a little bit difficult to kind of adhere to that. Um, with um, the current gradebook that we had. So I had to s create a separate gradebook. So here, um, if you go into Aries, right? Um, this is what my gradebook looks like. So here, look, we have your regular gradebook, right? AP Physics 1. This is the one that you had your regular grade during the regular school year. And now you have an extra category called AP Physics 1 Remote Learning. This is how I'm gonna make sure or check to see if you have a C average and then at the end of this whole session, I can count and see how many that you're missing. And hopefully that's less than um, that's less than 20 percent. But I feel like all you got to do is just keep on top of all your work. Make sure that you have a C average. And then I can go back here and give you guys um, a grade bump. Good. Um, on top of that, though, I know that many of you have maybe a C and you're going for an A. That is great. And I want to support you on that. And I can totally raise your grade more than one grade, all right? Um, what I ask of you is that you don't go into um, the stuff before remote learning and then just start randomly choosing things to redo. Um, the one thing that I wanna avoid within these next, ooh, I don't know, six to eight more weeks of school is I, I don't want us to kinda just do a bunch of mindless busy work and then hope that that's some sort, some sort of achievement, right? So instead, if you want to raise your grade more than a grade, come talk to me. Um, I would love to sort out a program with you. And maybe we might choose some old um, stuff to redo. Speaking of stuff to redo, I think many of you, many of you got a really high grade on the T-Pose Lab, but some of us can really benefit from redoing the T-Pose Lab. That T-Pose Lab is supposed to be a grade booster. I know for many of you, you're like, oh my gosh, like, why did you grade that T-Pose Lab? But I mean, that's, we're supposed to grade things, guys. Um, so if you redo that T-Pose Lab, for many of you, like I, I did the math, if all of us had a 10 on the T-Pose Lab, then basically I will only have A's and B's in my class. So um, the T-Pose Lab is up for grabs. You can redo it and then um, keep on top of your studies and all of us should be getting out of here with a pretty good grade. Good. Okay, so for this week, um, a couple of things that I want us to go through. Um, so there was a session about um, sum of forces. Um, that's pretty good. And then uh, for the rest of um, the, this week and then a little bit more for next week, there's going to be one session about linear momentum and then finally gravitation. Um, I don't want us, like, I know every now and then I give us kind of that book work, but you should know that the AP test is all about uh, CERs. CERs is a claim evidence reasoning. It's all about QQTs, qualitative and quantitative translations. So it's going to be um, a lot more writing. So the work that I... Um, value is going to be the work with the writing in it. Oh, and lastly, uh, there's going to be a gravitation lab. It's going to be a lab based off a of simulation. That thing is going to be huge. Don't miss out on that lab. Hopefully, you'll get your T-Pose lab done before that. Hey, um, I think we're, we're um, closing out the year pretty soon. AP test is just around the corner. It's coming up in basically less than a month. So uh, keep studying, guys. I'm really proud of all the things that you're doing.